Okay, so I'm not usually one to comment on these topics as I still consider myself a student of knowledge, like a, a newer one. I've been Muslim for almost 10 years, but as far as like my proper deep studies of Islam, that's more within the last three, four years. Anyway, regardless, I usually avoid speaking about these topics online, but this was really bothering me today. So I just wanted to put in my two cents briefly. And that is regarding this whole wearing a coat over a bay uh, debacle. Um, I remember the meme going around last winter, basically, where they were saying that you should wear your coat under your abaya and, you know, look like a Michelin man and everyone was joking about it, haha. Ha. But there are people that actually think that this is accurate. And I just want to say that anyone who genuinely believes this lives in a fantasy land and doesn't actually know women very well. And forget knowing women even in this modern day and age very well. They clearly don't know the Sahabiyat very well. And they also don't know moms very well. And this like delusion of forcing women to think that they need to do these things that make living life so unrealistic is just ridiculous. And it's clearly pushing the narrative of, well, if it's so hard to leave the house, properly, then you should just not leave the house at all. If you can't leave the house with wearing a coat under your abaya because it's too hard, then just don't leave the house because that's better for you. And that's basically their end game, right? Now, two things I want to point out for this. I want to talk about motherhood and I want to talk about the Sahabiyat separately. So any woman who has had children and who specifically Mama. has nursed her children, um, they know how much of a hassle it is finding modest clothing that is breastfeeding friendly, that you can wear out in public, that's accessible and all those, those things. So to add another layer of complication to this, to where you need to wear something that's accessible and wearing your, first of all, waterproofness, rain, snow, cold, that defeats the purpose of a coat and it's ridiculous, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway. Um, adding a whole other layer of difficulty in accessibility for nursing mothers is just absurd. Additionally, adding on to that and why I say none of these people actually live in a Muslim majority country, if you go outside and you see mothers with their babies, a lot of them are wearing their babies on their back. I myself am someone who wears my baby in a carrier on my back because it's the easiest, most accessible way to get around. And I live in a Muslim country. And where I live, strollers are not super, I mean, you can use a stroller and I have a stroller and I use it for certain places if I'm going to like the mall or somewhere indoors. But when I'm outdoors in this terrain, using a stroller is just not practical. It's not realistic. So I use a baby carrier and this baby carrier has a waistband that goes around my waist to support my baby. And you would have people on here saying that's tabaruj, you should just not leave the house because you have this waistband thing. And it's like, Let's be realistic here. I have things that I need to do. I can't send my husband to get the groceries for me because I'm not allowed to leave the house because I can't carry my baby around. And I am someone who considers myself to dress modestly and to dress fully modestly. Majority of the time I am wearing an abaya, I'm wearing proper hijab, like I don't wear makeup. So it's not coming from a place of me trying to make rules for myself. It's just genuinely these people live in a fantasy land. And the last point that I wanna make on that is it is noted in the it is noted in the Sierra that the Sahabiyats would wear belts that they would carry things in. So whether the belt was on the hips or on the waist, my assumption is that it was on the waist. You would have people today saying that that's tabarruj. And it's like, well, if they were doing it in the time of the Prophet وسلم, and it was not a problem and it was for practical purposes and no men were having a crisis of faith over it, then I think you will survive if a woman is going to wear a coat in the winter and at the crux of it all one they're just trying to say don't leave the house because it's too complicated to dress properly and two they're trying to express essentially that a woman's very existence is too much for men to handle therefore you should just not let them know that you exist and if we are genuinely trying to follow an islamic example and looking at the sirah of our prophet وسلم, this would not be the case and you would realize just how far from the truth that these people are so as a woman to other women, don't worry about this stuff. It's, it's ridiculous. Wear your coat. Don't get sick, please.